Recently, quite a few jailbreak flying vehicles have gotten changes, both in performance and in design. Therefore, I figure now is a good time to rank every single flying vehicle in jailbreak except the Leah and the Blade because nobody can use them from worst to best. I'm ranking the vehicles based on a mixture of their performance, their looks, and how often I find them convenient to use. So my opinion is definitely going to be different from yours. Make sure to tell me which vehicles are your favorite. If you enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. In last place we have the UFO. For starters, this vehicle is very inconvenient to get to. It's in the military base, which has multiple guns, making it difficult to drop in and obtain the vehicle. And you need a key card to open the area where it's locked up. After going through all that trouble, the vehicle itself is still not good. It costs 500,000 J bucks, yet the performance is incredibly poor. It only goes around 100 miles per hour at max. It's tied with the default helicopter, which is free and much easier to access. The only thing this vehicle has going for it is the looks, but other than that, it's very, very mediocre and definitely one of the worst vehicles in the game, in my opinion. Speaking of which, we have the default helicopter. This vehicle is absolutely iconic and a perfectly serviceable vehicle to many players. It seats five people and has a decent speed. However, I've always kind of disliked how difficult it is to get this vehicle. I'm not saying it's bad that it has to be locked up behind a key card or in a high place most of the time. However, this aspect always kept me from using this vehicle and the stats itself are not that great either since it's a free helicopter. Therefore, I can't place this vehicle too high because I didn't use it much and the stats aren't that great. However, for many new players, it's absolutely very useful. Then we have the crew capsule. Stats wise, this vehicle is definitely really mediocre. It's one of the slowest vehicles in the game. However, for me, there are still good reasons to use this as number one, it's small and hard to hit. So it's a good escape vehicle if you're being faced by some tough cops and it's spawnable. Therefore, there are some redeeming aspects of this vehicle that pull it up from other ones in my opinion. Up next, we have the Celsior. I like this vehicle quite a bit. I really like the looks and I think the futuristic vibe is very cool. It also has really good stats as it's a spawnable flying vehicle yet it still performs really well when compared to other flying vehicles. It also seats 4 people, however there are things that other vehicles are simply better at when compared to this one. For instance, the hover height is pretty frustrating when it comes to this vehicle. The speed is also a teensy bit too slow for my taste. So besides those aspects, I still like this vehicle a lot. After that, we have the Little Bird. This is a really, really great vehicle and definitely one that players should always consider buying. It's pretty small and hard to shoot down, but it seats quite a few people and it has a really good speed. This is definitely a really good vehicle for robbing locations like the cargo ship as it's hard to be shot down. I'm astonished as to how this vehicle is much cheaper than the UFO, yet it simply outclasses it in every way. This is a really great vehicle and all intermediate jailbreak players should buy this. Then we have the stunt plane. For the longest time, this used to be one of the worst jailbreak vehicles ever due to its really lackluster speed. But in the recent jailbreak update, this vehicle got buffed significantly. Now it goes over 135 miles per hour, which is faster than vehicles like the Black Hawk. It's also much easier to control due to the plane controls update. So this vehicle is now really, really good. I guess the things I don't really like about it is that it only seats one person and usually I'm playing with at least one other person. So that holds me back from using this vehicle. It's also in a little bit of a remote location when compared to the jet. The jet spawns in three different areas while the stunt plane only spawns in one. However, these are still kind of nitpicks and this vehicle is definitely really, really good. Then we have the drone. Getting negatives out of the way, I really dislike how this vehicle looks. The design makes no sense whatsoever. The propellers are just stuck in random areas and I don't like the design of the body. It looks like a shovel. However, putting looks aside, this is definitely a really, really good vehicle. And I understand why it's one of the most popular vehicles in the game. It's small and hard to shoot down and it's really quick. 
This is a really good vehicle for robbing a lot of locations, especially places like the power plant, so I respect it quite a bit. However, the looks, the lack of a rope, and the hover height hold this vehicle back just a bit. For our penultimate vehicle, we have the Jet. The most recent jailbreak update improved this vehicle quite a bit. Not only did it get a really good design revamp, but it now also seats two people instead of one, which I really appreciate. The vehicle was already really fast, but now it became even faster, going upwards of 212 miles per hour. It also became much easier to control in my opinion due to the addition of the A and D controls. And it's really fun to just fly around the map with this thing. I also really enjoy the combat system it has. The missile locking system is really fun and I've really enjoyed wasting all my money on dogfights. The one thing holding this vehicle back for me is that when it's landed, it's a little bit difficult to control, especially when I'm turning in some power plant money. It's always a little bit tricky with this vehicle. Otherwise, I love this vehicle a lot and the most recent update did so much for it. But easily coming in first place for me is the Black Hawk. I've always really loved this vehicle. It looks really cool and the most recent update just made it look even better. Of course, it's a great vehicle for teams as it seats 8 people, 9 if you include the rope, and it has really, really good stats. And of course, the rope on it makes robbing the cargo ship possible, which I really appreciate. In my eyes, you basically beat the game when you unlock this vehicle, and there are so many things I love about it, so it comes in number 1. But that's gonna be it for my ranking of the Jailbreak Flying Vehicles. What do you think? Which ones are your favorite? Which ones are your least favorites? Please make sure to tell me in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Also consider joining my Discord server, link to the description. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later.